Okay, in this quick video, I just want to show uh, some of the errors that can occur when we try to um, extrude uh, data and base our models prior to cleaning up, removing this extraneous little areas over here and some of the problems that can occur. Uh, I have already duplicated um, uh, this model. I have two copies of it, so I can show you two different op things that can occur. So this first one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, extrude it and base it just as is so you can see one of the first errors that occurs. Okay, so one of the things, the first thing I want to point out is this over here. These little bits of data that stick off the edge make some really obscure um, pieces of data and we don't want this because when you print this um, your your uh, your printer is going to struggle to print this first of all uh, at least if you print it vertically uh, um, in this you know standing up on end if you print horizontally it might succeed in printing but it's still going to be kind of pointless uh, uh, model and also if you do a suck down on there for an aligner or for a bleaching tray or a night guard or I don't know whatever reason if you try to do something on this the um, the tray is going to get really locked around here and you're going to have some issues. So save yourself the trouble, clear off this data for that reason alone. Okay, so that's one of the reasons we want to be sure to do that because we really want our entire outside edge to be as smooth as possible. Another little area back here that um, is sharp and essentially pointless and only going to cause us some issues. So uh, now let's go through the other uh, problem that can occur. Let's hide this model for now. Let's turn on our same shell. So one other thing that can occur if um, it, when you go to plane cut that bottom. Now let's pretend I'm going to make a, a selection. I'm going to essentially tr uh, intentionally make this an air, uh, a flawed model. This will happen sometimes and I'm just going to do that. I'm going to hit delete and now we got those little holes in here and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit um, control A and I'm going to try to extrude it from here. Now it can't extrude it because it doesn't know how. It's not a continuous model. There's holes in here. If you ever try to do a step, smoothing the boundary is another step where this is going to happen. If you see a step where there's these little, where it turns maroon, as I call the maroon model of death, look for the red area not the perimeter, but inside the model or right at the perimeter, that tells you where the flaw is that it's struggling with. So what you want to do, and honestly in this one I know if I, it, it still might air out on all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to escape and I'm going to take my little um, uh, select tool and I'm just going to draw and cut all this data out. Okay? So that's one of the things that can occur. Okay, so, so I, that's that's the second thing, and I apologize. There's there's one more thing that can occur. So let's stop there, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna revert this whole model back to normal. All right. So now we're back to our previous model. So one of the other things that can occur, the last thing, is let's go back to this model right here that we had. And so we haven't done anything about that. Now we want to go ahead and move the rest of our process of plane cutting and hollowing. And let me show you what happens there. Okay, so we've got our hollow model now. And now we want to make our plane cut right across here. So I'm going to go to plane cut. And we're going to invert this. Let's hide this. We don't need this little window in the way. It's just in the way. You can see that down here it's fine because it's above those aired areas. What, look what happens when we raise the plane cut to the level of these um, obscure uh, areas, if you will. Right there. So this is what can happen, and I get this question a lot. What do I do now? My, you know, I can see inside my model. How do I repair this? Well, the truth of the matter is you can't repair it. Uh, even if you try to run a, an inspector repair, it's going to see them as two different holes. It's going to try to seal this one off and then seal that. It's just not going to work. So you really are stuck at this point. Now, it, it, the reason is, is it doesn't know how to smooth this area with these little extraneous data points. So again, that's why smoothing the border is critically important um, and getting rid of these extra little um, uh, areas that have extruded outward. 
Okay, so there's the three things that can occur. Um, once again, you've got your extra parts that are hard to print, you've got the potential for an open model, and you've got, um, let's see, there we go. Oh, and you've got your aired out uh, maroon models that uh, give you give you grief. So, all right. Well, hopefully that uh, solves some of the problems you might be encountering with your prints. And uh, let us know. Let me know in the questions if you have any other uh, any other questions. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions.